Thanks for watching another quick tip video from Go Engineer. My name is Bruce Schaller, and this quick tip video is on large design review mode inside of SolidWorks 2019. To get to large design review mode, you go open your top level assembly just like you normally would, and down in the open menu, you'll see mode. If you come down and put it in large design review mode, it will open in that mode. So that's one of the ways you can do it. If you are in the new welcome screen inside of SolidWorks, there's the little down arrow right here, and you could go in and put it what, in what mode you want to open the assembly in, and it'll open the same way. I'm going to go back and open this the traditional way, and just go ahead and select the large design review in here. Now, when I open this, it's not going to go in and open it yet. At first, I have the, you know, do not show unchecked so you can see what you can do inside of the large design review mode. What's new inside of 2019 is the ability to edit inside of the mode, insert new components, delete components, move and rotate components, create and delete and edit mates. That's my favorite. So we can do all these things and we can change configurations inside of the large design review mode. So let's go open this 144 megabyte model and I'm opening this live right now. It takes about five seconds to open. Now I will say what I found is if you have flexible assemblies inside of your model or flexible sub-assemblies, you have to set those to rigid and save the model before opening it in large design review mode or it will not allow you to edit. So that is one of the downfalls if you're using flexible assemblies. You want a standard operating procedure that says save those assemblies in rigid mode. The other thing is if you're going to insert components, they need to be saved into 2019 before inserting them. But you can see this 144 megabyte assembly came up. I've got my performance criteria set to it's kind of blocky until I zoom in a little bit more on it then I'll get the better graphics but for the basic part this 144 megabyte assembly would have taken three minutes three and a half minutes to open and you can see I've got it in about five seconds if I come over and I want to do something like the measure command I can go in and use things like the measure command and I've been able to do this for a while inside of the large design review mode. If I want to go in and insert components, delete components, or edit components, I need to go over to the top level and say edit assembly. When I do that, it puts me in the edit mode while I'm still in large design review mode. I'm doing this video live and you're seeing that it's taking about 10 seconds to put it into that large design review modes edit mode in there so that I can go in and use the insert command and I can go insert components or sub-assemblies in here as well. So I have a sub-assembly that I just want to go in and put in. I'll go in and do this. You can rotate using the traditional rotate methods or the newer rotate method that lets you rotate and flip it using these rotate about X, Y, and Z's. When you put it in and you go into your mate command you will see you have all the mate commands that you've traditionally had and your standard mates your advanced mates and your mechanical mates so it's nice they've been able to put this ability to stay in this large design review mode I've never had that three and a half minute processing if I want to go in and delete something out I can right click when it's in the edit mode and delete this out and it deletes out very fast and now I could go ahead and save in this large assembly design mode and it'll save these edits so again my most favorite feature especially if you're working on large designs inside of SolidWorks 2019 is the large design review mode and the ability to do all the editing in there the mating the inserting components the deleting components, and even being able to change into configurations. I hope you liked this quick tip video from Go Engineer. We'll see you next time.